Okay, in this video we're going to have a go at adding a favicon to our um, HTML code that we've already written. So for the purpose of this I'm going to use Notepad. I'm going to go back and open up the file I did last time and remembering that I don't want this to show us looking for text documents or looking for HTML. So I'm going to change that to all files. Open up my HTML file. Now the code I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in the HTML uh, top bit. I'm going to write a link uh, relative to icon and the type of this one is going to be an image and the file type is going to be a png and where we're going to find this file is in the folder that we created last time um, and I'm going to call it myicon.png watching to make sure I'm not making any of my usual spelling mistakes I'm going to go to file and I'm going to save. Now, I can open that at the moment, but because I haven't actually um, uh, added the file yet, it won't work. Also, I've made a typing mistake here, so it's worth uh, quickly checking your own work and making sure you haven't made the same type of mistakes I've made. Now, to make the favicon, to make the icon that shows up in the top left-hand corner when we on the browser, I'm going to use GIMP. So I'm going to go to GIMP. Wait for GIMP to open, which can take a little bit of time. And when GIMP opens, we're going to make quite a large favicon. We're going to make a canvas which is 64 by 64. I'll just bear with this for a second when it opens up. Okay, so we're going to go to File, we're going to go to New. We're going to set the image width as 64 pixels, and we're going to set the image height as 64 pixels. We're going to press OK. It's not very big. So I'm going to hold on Control. I'm going to use the scroll button on the mouse to make it larger so I can see what I'm doing. And as we've shown in previous videos, art is not really my forte. So I'm going to have a very quick and very simple way of drawing this. Uh, I'm going to go to Layer. I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to set it to just Transparency. OK, and on the Transparency, what I'm going to have a go at doing is I'm going to have a go at just making a very simple kind of edges of a cat. So um, I'm going to select from here because it's not showing at the moment the tool options. I'll pull onto this space here where it should be showing. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to use a brush, but I want to make my brush a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go down to something like size 10. Here's the brush. OK, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller again. Choose the colour if I want. And I'm just going to give it kind of how I imagine a cat having a pair of ears, having a couple of eyes. I'm just going to tell eyes of the cat. Okay, um, having it tail behind it, having some paws at the front. Make this a little bit thinner again, and we can give it some whiskers. Okay, you can do obviously uh, different designs, and so probably can do a better one than I can. Now, once I've designed my cat, I can save it, and I am going to, so I'm going to save as. Uh, I'm going to put it back into the same place I was putting it before. So I'm going to put it back into my um, I'm going to put it back into my website folder, which I now found so HTML cat site, and I'm going to call this. The problem is this is an XCF file, so while this is a good way of saving it so I can edit it, it's not a good way of putting it into our website. So once I've saved it, I'm going to save it again, but this time I'm going to do it as an export. So I'm going to go export as. It's automatically coming up with PNG, which is fine. If it hadn't, I could have selected it from here. Because I called it my icon on the XCF, it's still calling it my icon here, which is what I want it to be called because that's what I've put into the code. I'm going to press export. I'm going to press place because I already had one and I'm going to press export. I'm absolutely fine with that. Now if I go onto my cat site and I open that up with Chrome, what I should see control R, is that my cat favicon shows here. If it doesn't work, try pressing control R to refresh your page, you might find it comes up. You'll have seen initially I had a D there, I'd been playing around with a different class to show it. So what we've done, 
we've entered some code onto Notepad, which tells us where it should be looking for this favicon. We've used GIMP to produce a 64 by 64 um, pixel image, and we've exported that as a PNG file. And then we've opened our uh, site up and we've done Control R in order to show the favicon. And I think it's starting to look a little bit more professional. Obviously, I've had a little bit more of an artistic ability and it looks significantly better.